welcome back to Mad About Cards and Crafts. Today I am creating this slimline card featuring that giant snowflake in the middle. This is the Let's Make Snowflakes Hop. I'm going to jump right into my products. I'm going to show you some of my products. I will end up bringing in additional products and I will tell you what they are as I bring them in. I'm starting with some stencils. That was a Pink Fresh Studio Diamond Plaid layering stencil. There are two pieces to that. This is from The Greetery and it is called Frosty Flakes. This one is from Tonic Studio and it is called Snowflake Flurry Stencil. I'm using two Distress Oxides in Victorian Velvet and Speckled Egg as well as the Speckled Egg Distressing Glaze and those little jewels from Pink Fresh Studio. I have cut a piece of cardstock. It's Nina Solar White 80 pound cardstock to four by nine and I am adding the stencil with the most open space. So this one is, as I said, a layering stencil. There are two pieces to it and you could use one, both, or the uh, other stencil could be used on its own as well. I am using the layering pieces. I did treat both of my stencils with pixie spray because they do have those really fine lines to the stencil i want to make sure that i'm not going to lift that up and get any ink underneath it so i am going to work on blending this uh, victorian velvet first i have to cut off the dog fur that stuck to my stencil because i have dog fur on everything i have three dogs and it is inevitable that I have either dog fur on my desk, dog fur on my photo mat, dog fur everywhere, no matter how many times I vacuum or clean because my dogs are always with me. So here I am adding the first layer of the Victorian Velvet. I will come back in with a second layer. When you're using layering stencils that are going to be overlapping, colors are going to be overlapping, you want to make sure that you're using complementary colors. Here I'm laying down the Victorian Velvet first. I will come in with Speckled Egg. If I, when I lay this over the, t when I lay the Speckled Egg over the Victorian Velvet, I'm going to get a softer rose color. When, if I were to lay the speckled egg down with a heavy coat like I am doing with the Victorian Velvet and then come over it with the Victorian Velvet, I likely would get more of a purple tone. So because I laid the Victorian Velvet down, I'm going to get a deeper rose tone with this. I love the, these two colors together. It has to be the 80s girl in me. When I first got married, pink, I had pink walls, everybody. I had pink walls. Pink walls, pink and blue. Uh, I did have light blue carpeting. It was kind of like a Berber carpeting. And yeah, I was that full on country girl with the pink and blue. So I still tend to lean towards pink tones. I love them and I'm glad that they're coming back. So this color combination brings back a lot of memories and I love the softness of this card. You can see that that stencil was still lifting just a tad bit, but not enough to ruin the project. There it is in all its glory. I am bringing in that Frosty Flakes stencil and lining it up at the top because I'm going to use this Nouveau Embellishment Mousse in Powder Blue. It looks like it's very solid and so I thought I would just go ahead and dip my brush in it without mixing it up because I thought it would be easier this way but you can see I am picking up a lot of little chunks and on this particular pass I am going to have to pick off a couple of those chunks because I'm going to be a little bit heavy-handed. Usually you build up color and it doesn't lay down so heavy, but because of the chunks that were in this, I got a heavier coating. This is a beautiful translucent, pearlescent medium, and I wanted to add a little bit more to this card with the snowflakes, and I thought this was a great way to do so. I am going to lift this up and show you 
all the shimmery goodness and it is so subtle so beautiful this powder blue embellishment mousse is fantastic I'm going to decide that I want to add more to the left and the right sides and then I'm going to add a die and cut this out so as I said this is a four by nine card panel I'm going to cut it down using the slimline scallop die from LDRS creative it's going to be about eight and a quarter by three and a quarter when I'm finished and here is the final piece Actually, I'm going to stencil again next. So there is a large snowflake in the center of the Tonic Studios stencil, and I am going to use that with some glacier paste. So glacier paste is going to have a creamier consistency, yet it still will have that pearlescent feel. So I will lay my stencil down in the center and then I'm going to take my butter knife. Yes, that is a butter knife. I um, have many sets of silverware and I have extra butter knives and I thought one day that this would work just as well as a palette knife and so I never have turned back. I've always used a butter knife as my palette knife for... Uh, putting down glazes and things like that over my stencils. So look at that pearly goodness. I'm going to lift this off and then I'm going to set it aside. It take it took probably about 40 minutes to dry cuz it's such a light coating. And here's that dye that I was telling you about. I'm being very careful to make sure that the left and the right side is even of that snowflake. I don't want one snowflake to have more of an arm than the other side. So I'm trying to make sure that that is centered. And I will tape it down using that purple tape, take it over to my Vagabond, and I will die cut that out. My finished card is going to be eight and a half by three and a half. I did use Nina Solar White 110 pound cardstock. I don't recommend it. Um, I forget about it every once in a while. I love it for my A2 size cards. I don't love it for my slimline cards because my slimline cards tend to not close very well. This is part of an ink to paper stamp set called Season of Joy. All of these products will be listed in the description box below. So if you wanna check any of them out, you can just click the link. It will take you directly to the product. So my sentiment says, wishing you great. I heat embossed it using the speckled egg embossing glaze. I also stamped it using speckled egg distress oxide. And now I'm going over it with that Victorian velvet again. Here I'm taking some of that purple tape. I am going to stencil or not stencil I'm going to ink blend around the edges of this card panel I think laying it out flat is going to be the easiest way but no it was not it was much easier for me to cover up the back side by closing it and then lining up my tape I will open this up and I'm going to bring in that speckled egg again instead of layering another card panel onto this card base I just decided to do to bring the ink directly to it and this is an easy way to do so I'm going to show you the first blend of this I'm going to go around the edges and just for time purposes I will finish the second layer off camera, but I will give you a good look at the beautiful speckled egg uh, on this card panel. And that's just going to give a little blue border to break up the pink of my plaid panel. And beautiful, there we go. It's all finished. And you see, I'm trying to, I'm taking that bone folder. I go over the backside, I, I go back and forth. I I just can't get it to close and um, so yeah I don't recommend the 110 I would much more uh, I would much rather use the 80 pound card stock for slimline cards here I'm centering that up I'm going to add a little bit of uh, foam tape I have quarter inch foam tape that I have purchased from scrapbook.com it's one of my favorite products that I have purchased this year 
And so I'm going to put that behind my sentiment. I did cut my sentiment out using a banner die. It's an old stitch sentiment strip from Dynamics uh, MFT that is no longer available, but there are banner dies available uh, with Lawn Fawn. MFT has some different ones now, so these are very easy to find. And so that is popped up. I'm gonna straighten it out. It's gonna take me a couple times to pick it up and make sure that I like where it's placed. And then I'm going to bring in the jewels from Pink Fresh Studio. These are light blue. I laid them out for you so you didn't have to watch the painstakingly slow process of me picking each jewel up and putting it where it needs to go. I used all three sizes. I have small, medium, and large. So I put the large ones on the outside right there, those four on the outside, and then the two that I just put in on the inside or their middle layer are going to be large ones. And then these are medium, these two right here. Actually, those four are gonna be medium. And then on the outside edge, are, those are all the small ones. So I glue all of those down and now I'm going to finish the inside of my card. This is the word joy from the ink to paper season of joy that I got the sentiment from. I'm lining this up and then I'm going to take this Tim Holtz um, stamp positioner or whatever you what do you call these things tell me in the description box below I'm it's it's eluding me anyway stamp block and I'm going to test it out to make sure that I'm going to be able to do this without ruining my project because I didn't think about the little jewels that were on there and I was afraid that I was going to mess it up in my misty so I will take that speckled egg and I will the Distress Oxide, and I will ink up this word joy, and then I will very carefully, with my fingers crossed, stamp it onto my card base. And it worked. Yay, yay me, it worked. I thought that it needed just a little bit more, so I am going to do a little bit more blending with that speckled egg and that Frosty Flakes stencil, and that is going to be my card. I hope that you enjoyed my project today. I will give you a close-up look of it. I'm not sure. It's really hard when I'm editing to see whether or not my picture is going to show up clear. My fingers are crossed. This was a really hard card because of the light colors for me to get a picture of. So I hope that the picture that I took is going to give it justice in the final edit. I wanna thank you again. Make sure that you click on the next person in the hop and share some love with each person that is participating. Thanks so much for watching. Have a fabulous day.